hoping that there's not a repeat of how that match turned out for sure, even though those were under more friendlier circumstances. Kinsey Morgan still feels a certain way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nix extends the hand. That is actually very disgusting, and I'm... What is this? Super oh, kick! God! Down goes Morgan. That's it. Once again, Nick's in the head of Mackenzie Morgan. Here are your winners, Matt Williams, James Ellsworth, the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, Nick's Ellsworth Enterprises. Fans, there's your winners. Disgusting. Ellsworth Enterprises. And we're all out of time. Walk that trick. Walk that trick. Walk that trick. This Saturday is Championship Saturday. The internet title, the tag team titles, the Memphis Heritage Championship all on the line. That's exactly right. Today it all goes down and it's one on one. The Gun Show defends the Memphis Heritage Championship against K Toomer, the big man, in a rematch that's going to be explosive. It might actually have some guests. I gotta say, we were talking about uh, last week with Nikki Lane saying she was calling Jerry Lynn. I'm hoping that we have an update on exactly what all this was that transpired at the desk between Austin Lane, you, and Nikki Lane, who returned to Memphis Wrestling for the first time in a while. All that and so much more, but Terrence, it's bell time! And introducing next, his opponent from Cordova, Tennessee, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the reigning, defending Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Tim Bosby. The Boz is back after being anointed the franchise of Memphis Wrestling and also that brand new, beautiful Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship belt. Tim Bosby has been traveling all across the United States, showing it off and defending it. And here he is today on Championship Saturday, defending that internet championship against up and comer. Oh wow, look at this. Love him or hate him, he is at least a defending champion. And you see the popcorn queen at ringside. She's not gonna be happy about that, but that's what it's all about right there, ladies and gentlemen, the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship. Griffin X with an opportunity of a lifetime here. Opening contest, and as Terrence said, all the titles nearly are on the line here. Right now is the internet championship. Then we have our tag team title match. And of course, our huge main event. The gun show one-on-one -on -one with the big man, Kate Toomer. And here we go, underway, our Ooh. first contest. And you can see the size and strength advantage is clearly in the favor of Tim Bosby. Yeah, Tim Bosby is uh, no stranger to the squared circle. He's not no stranger to the squared mat either. That's exactly right. Was number one in the state of Tennessee in amateur wrestling. Rookie year here at Memphis Wrestling. Ooh. Anointed as the franchise of Memphis Wrestling and the internet champion from Shane Douglas, the franchise himself. Yeah, you can go back to our YouTube channel here or Fight go. Plus. I was going to say it might be over right now, but here comes Griffin X. Sorry, Terrence. No, you're good. And Bosby doesn't wear knee pads, so those kicks right in the knee. Yeah, that'll, that'll take you out really quick, especially as tall as, as he is. He's got to be at least 6'1", 6'2". Gosh, Bos might be bigger than that. 220 on his 
uniform, but I believe he's at 240 or so at this point. Ooh. This kid is growing. Ooh, right into that backbreaker. You can see the strength advantage, as I mentioned. All the way slam, Man. all the way across the ring onto the Munford Pharmacy mat. Big shout out to them in Munford, Tennessee. Boz kicking off championship Saturday here and looking good doing it as he's flexing with Griffin X in his arms. What a slam. Right into the center of the ring. It's a good position for Tim Bosby. Not so great for Griffin X. No, absolutely not. Griffin X needs to mount an offense of some kind, a comeback or something, or he's gonna be done for as Boz. Hard oh! buckle. Man, those have really become a part of his repertoire. Well, you can put all 240 pounds behind it. You see, even- Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Come on now. Shades of classic Memphis wrestling. And we know that's not done for inspirational purposes. That's all out of cockiness. Boz scoops up. Griffin X. Is he doing squats? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. But oh, wait, 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 Almost put that bell down, Terrence. Will Barrow. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God in heaven. Into a German suplex. Straps come down. Boz means business. Yeah, that slam was personal. He almost took away his title. Ripcord. Oh, down goes Griffin X. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. And he beat him. The Boz retains on Championship Saturday. Here is your winner and still Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Tim Bosby. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay brought to you by Kapow Comics. Check them out, 501-834-5769 in Sherwood, Arkansas. That ripcord was definitely a kapow. And Tim Bosby remains the Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion. And fans, when we return, the tag team titles are on the line. The champs, Derek King and Ray Ray Sanders in action against the number one contillers, the LA Hustlers. Stay with us. Imagine a place where a cool summer breeze blows and burgers have that smoky char grilled flavor. And also the breeze is your car's air conditioner because you're eating at Sonic. New Sonic Griller. Mmm, Sonic. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW Double or Nothing. Join us Sunday, May 28th. It's free to watch. That's Dave & Buster's Memphis. Jets Pizza in Bartlett is the official pizza of Memphis Wrestling. Order today at 901-383-5387. It's gotta be Jets. Thank you, West Carroll High. And thank you to our partners who helped raise funds for the West Carroll War Eagles football team. Did you see that? The Hustlers, Big Bradley, has a chain. Oh my gosh, he just mollywops Geo Savage. It's not technically illegal here. The only way to win is over the top elimination. Can he finish the job? Wow. And he does. Fans, we've got winners and new number one contenders here to the tag team winners. titles. Number one contenders for the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Championship, the LA Hustlers. Look at this, Terrence. 
Ray Ray's on the top rope. <laughs> what Got a splash! Oh my goodness! Derek King and Ray Ray Sanders have done it! We've got your winners and new Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions! Derek King and Ray Ray Sanders! Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling and it is Tag Team Title Time here on Championship Saturday and there's the number one contenders via the Spring Break Big John Dalton Tag Team Battle Royal just several weeks back. Brought to you by Homer, Skelton, Ford, LA Hustlers were victorious there. And today they get their opportunity. And here come the champs. Derek King and Ray Ray Sanders, the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Congratulations once again, guys. Once again, I'm going to remain impartial here, but let's head down to the ring for our official championship introduction with Terrence Wall. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And it is for the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Introducing first the challengers from Los Angeles, California. It is Bradley and Lamont, the LA Hustlers. No love lost for these guys this week. Once fan favorites though. And their opponents. From Memphis, Tennessee, they are the reigning Defending Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Ray Ray Sanders and Derek, by God, greater than great, Key. And there they are, the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Ray Ray Sanders with a triumphant return, defeating the posse. And we've seen some very interesting videos as of late for the posse. So stay tuned for more on that. And that's what it's all about right there is the tag team titles here in Memphis Wrestling. <laughs> Referee Cole in the ring, rings the bell, and we are underway. Tag team competition right here on Championship Saturday. Collar and elbow tie up, Derek King in there with rough shot. Man, I have waited, waited for the day that Team Wrestle Center, Derek King, Ray Ray Sanders became tag team champions. I'm so excited. After such a long, hard fought battle against the posse, using everything, even the kitchen sink, and for you to <laughs> introduce Derek King and Ray Ray Sanders as tag team champions, I know there's a special feeling even for the fans in attendance. Of course, Ray Ray Sanders' family here every time Ray Ray competes. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. We're at 3296 Winbrook Drive here in Memphis. Oh, here if go. you have not joined us, shame on you as Ray Ray Sanders looking in tip top physical condition. Look at Ray Ray. I gotta say, looking good. He is the exclusive and the exquisite. Ray Ray Sanders. Uh -oh. At least that's what his tights say. Mm. Here we go. Big spinning head scissors from Ray Ray Sanders. Ooh. Down goes rough shot. Very well executed. Oh, drop, drop kick. Right on the button. That's become a signature of Ray Ray Sanders, too. Bradley, not fast enough. Man. Ray Ray Sanders is handing out drop kicks. You get a drop kick. You get a <laughs> drop kick. Everybody gets drop oh. kick until then. God, I was about to say, check under your seat. There may be an envelope, Dustin. I don't want a drop kick. <laughs> Especially through this wall behind us. No give whatsoever. Big Bradley, notorious Bradley, put the brakes to Ray Ray Sanders. Now tags rough shot in. Here we go. Let's take a serious note here. This is the LA Hustlers we're talking about. These guys have been known to lie, to cheat, and to steal their way through every victory along the way. And now, along the way, happen. they have gotten, almost got new tag team champions, but we have had some cheering for the LA Hustlers from time to time, but they always slip back into what 
they're used to. Well, it was one of those the enemy of my enemy is my friend moments. If we want to kind of be fair, that's not to take away any of the cohesiveness that this tag team has because these two have Look worked that. well together for years. Tag team continuity right there. Might have new champs, but we don't. Not quite yet. Ray Ray Sanders has gone through hell and back with the posse. It's going to take a little more than that to even, pin him. Even was taken out by injury. Big kick. What a neck breaker from Ray Ray Sanders. Well, you know Derek King over there in the corner is looking on with a little bit of pride. He's got some concern, but you know there's some pride in that underlying concern that he is doing a great job, teacher and student together as champions. First time ever here at Memphis Wrestling. Teacher and student tag team champions. There's the tag to Derek King, and here he comes. Oh, those patented Derek King hooks. Big jabs, huge right hand, lands flush on Notorious Man. Bradley. DK's on fire here. Yes, he is. Super oh. kick! Taking down Bradley. DK hits it. One for rough shot. You get a super kick. Everybody gets super kicks. There's the tag coming from the Kapow corner. What a splash! <laughs> Still, here are your winners, and still, Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Derek by God, Greater Than Great King, and Ray Ray Sanders. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay, brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. Join us live here at the Wrestle Center. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com, and there they are. And still, Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Fans, don't you dare go away. Up next, Big Swole. If you want to ever see a bald-headed Bradley, stay with us. Did you think it was going to be that easy? We are just getting started. It's time for extreme measures. Let this be a warning to anybody watching. We are going to do exactly what we said we were going to do and take over Memphis Wrestling. Forever. Is your dream to become a professional wrestler or sports entertainer? Let's make that dream a reality. Train with the best at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. Enrolling now at WrestleCenter901.com. Imagine a place where a cool summer breeze blows and burgers have that smoky char-grilled flavor. And also the breeze is your car's air conditioner because you're eating at Sonic. New Sonic Griller. Mmm, Sonic. Jets Pizza in Bartlett is the official pizza of Memphis Wrestling. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. We're the hero of the Mizarks, K. Toomer, receives yet another opportunity at the Memphis Heritage Championship. An opportunity that should belong to Maurice the Strong. However, the circus wishes Mr. Toomer the best of luck, because he's going to need it. And oh, by the way, Mr. Toomer, he who laughs last laughs best. And the last sound that'll echo through your empty skull is the laughter of Barnabas the leader! <laughs> this is what he gets. This is what main event Bradley gets after all of this time screwing over Uncle Mikey and treating him as if he wasn't the family that he is. Well, now he's paying a dear, dear price. You can hear the fans chanting Baldy and look at the people all around. The Wrestle Center. Oh, 
late. Bradley, you're not going anywhere. Not much Brad can do about it unless it's not to be fired. And look at that. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Yes. There yes. High and tight on the camera and high and tight on the haircut. He might want to join the U.S. military after this. He's already going to have the haircut ready for it. <laughs> Wait, wait, does he have to shave this whole head? Can we just give him <laughs> like a reverse mohawk? Yeah. The following bout is set for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by main event Bradley, Uncle Phil. I'm sorry, that can't quite keep a straight face. Would you, would you look at this? Come on, take that silly wig off. What do you think this is, 1980s Memphis wrestling? Take the wig off, show everybody what happened. I don't know what you're talking about, Dustin. I just went and got red highlights. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. Main event Bradley, who had his head shaved nope. a couple of weeks ago, here on Memphis Wrestling, joining us at the broadcast position. I can't even look that direction. <laughs> Y'all can't even get me a chair? What is this? No. I'm main event Bradley. You're not supposed to be here. I'm going to go find myself a chair. I'll be right back. And introducing next, his opponent from Memphis, Tennessee, Big Swall. Yes, Ted! Cole! He wins. Sorry, Terrence. Yeah, uh, Brad. <laughs> Keep on walking, big folks. Man, Dustin, y'all gave me a faulty <laughs> chair. We didn't give you anything. First of all, you're not supposed to be out here. Second of all, take the silly wig off and show us that bald head of yours. And third of all, you just literally fell off the stage. I've got a problem. I need to talk to the, You've got I need a problem. To talk to the championship committee about this because this isn't right. There is a spirit. Your boy. Oh, here we go. Uncle Phil has a problem too. He's going to put Big Swole down. In Big Swole, Justin Cole, but right now he's jump started this matchup. Come Fans, on, Uncle Phil. You have got to see how ridiculous. Brad Skimmerhorn looks here at the desk with his silly wig on. He's got a suit and tie on, so he looked pretty good. I think if you take the wig off, man, come on. I don't know what you're talking about, Dustin. Speaking I'm not wearing a wig. Taking off, it looks like Uncle Phil here has just taken off Big Swole's vest and thrown it halfway across the Wrestle Center as he attacks him before the bell rings. All right, so let's talk. How are you liking your new haircut? I don't know what you're talking about, new haircut. I just went and I got some dyed red, you know, highlights to match Phil's singlet, which you can't see right now, but it's just dyed, man. Well, let's be honest here. We're not judging you based on how you identify, Bradley. We're just concerned because that's not your real hair. Y'all don't have proof that it's not my real <laughs> oh hair. Oh, my goodness. This Thank is so you, Big funny. Dave. I can't so even nice. believe it. Meanwhile, in the ring, Uncle Phil is having his way with Big Swole after attacking him before the bell. But here, you didn't spend a whole lot of time on your hygiene or your aesthetics or anything like that in the first place. So why do you care right now? What are you talking about? I'm five star like you, Dustin. Oh, Everything hey. I do is great. Hold on a second. I've nothing but style. Look at the way I'm dressed. All right, take the wig off, please. I'm not wearing a wig. <laughs> All right. Uh, Meanwhile, in the ring, it looks like Uncle Phil is all over Big Swole Justin Cole, and I wish you were in there in this match, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, honestly, you. Dustin, I'm in a pretty bad mood. I wish I was in there whooping Big Swole, too. Okay, well, it's easier said than done. Of course, Dustin Starr alongside Terrence Ward and main event Bradley, who had his head shaved by Uncle Mikey two weeks ago right here on Memphis Wrestling, and apparently he's so ashamed of it that he's wearing the wig. It's not a wig. It's real hair. Terrence, please take over here. Well, listen, all I got to say is, is we're all going to need to attend a safety meeting after this. Uncle Phil is in the ring in complete control, and he is just gouging the eyes with the missing, well, I would say the hand with the missing pinky there. What was pointed out by Brad a couple of weeks ago on commentary. It got bit so. off by a shark. Yeah, a lone shark, as I said, and still stand by. Who did y'all owe money to? Don't answer that. Yeah, it, it doesn't even matter. It's probably multiples, but kapow, kapow right in the corner. Uncle Phil driving Big Swole Justin Cole, arguably one of the most popular what here at Memphis right Wrestling. Big, big Uncle Phil is taking it to Big Swole. Big Uncle Phil? Look how big he is. He's six foot seven. He's a big dude. Yeah, as he sure. just rushes Big Swole in the corner. Yeah, and, and, and Justin Cole is not, he is not usually taken advantage of like this a lot by competitors in the squared circle, but Phil does have that big weight and height advantage. It's Working in his favor in this match. As Bradley mentioned, the size 
of Uncle Phil. When you get jumped before the match, it's really hard to get back on track after a man of that size and stature jumps you when you're not looking. Well, first of all, Brad. Justin, Big Swole needs to have his head on a swivel. It's Memphis wrestling. He knows that. And honestly, Uncle Phil did nothing that you haven't done in your career either, Justin, so. Well, right now I'm sitting at this desk calling the action and laughing at your phony wig as Uncle Phil gets a near fall on Big Swole Justin Cole, now driving his forearm right into the face and nose of Big Swole. Kick out right before the three. I Big Swole. Ref said two, but it looked like it was one. Okay, so Brad, seriously, two weeks ago you got your head shaved here. It's only fair for all the fans to see it. Could you please take the wig off? I've told you countless times during this match, Dustin, I am not wearing a wig. I went to the hair salon, got tug, some Just tug on it. Don't tug on my hair. Kind of like, it's going to hurt. Just tug on it. Anyway, back to the action inside the ring. Big Swole feeling it from the crowd as the capacity crowd here at the Wrestle Center is chanting Swole. You know what, Dustin? I'm tired of y'all attacking me. I'm going ringside. No, I think going? you need to stay right here. You're lucky Pete Brannick is not here. He grab you. You! Big of, Swole. Speaking of Pete Pranica, hammer nail coffin time. We're getting close. Big Swole, you know what this means. Oh, I've Huge never seen boot. that. I've never seen that from Big Swole. Big Swole says, what are you doing over here? Looks so ridiculous. I'm sorry, but. Oh, Big Swole gets a handful of hair. Wait a second, right in front of the referee it appears. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Main event Bradley sporting that new haircut. <laughs> and he it. takes off running like a scalded dog. Meanwhile. Oh, turn around, oh, Uncle Landfill. Phil better watch out. Taking out the trash today. Big small slam. Is it Big Swole victorious? Here is your winner, Big Swole Justin Cole. What a victory by Big Swole Justin Cole fans! Don't you dare go anywhere. When we return, Nikki Lane and Austin Lane are here, and Nikki has promised Jerry Lynn. Stay with us. We are Memphis Wrestling. Join us live. Sunday, May 28th, is our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. Watch AEW Double or Nothing with us. It's free. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Sunday, June 4th, is our next live TV taping at the Wrestle Center. Experience the stars of Memphis Wrestling live. June 25th is on sale soon. Saturday, July 1st, watch WWE Money in the Bank with us. It's free at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Thank you, West Carroll High. And thank you to our partners who helped raise funds for the West Carroll War Eagles football team. You got to ride off in the sunset. You don't, you haven't been here each and every week in that ring to go out there and to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt you're the best inside that ring on this microphone in the world but you still don't get your roses. You got your roses. This business creates monsters. Now, I told you I didn't want to talk about this at home. I didn't talk to you for a reason. Don't bring my wife out here wanting to talk to me. I'm done. Look, all I know is if he's not gonna listen to me and I can't get through to him, I'm just gonna have to make a phone call. There's only one person that he looks up to, his mentor, the one and only Jerry Lynn. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Memphis Wrestling and joining me at this time is the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome
from Austin Lane. Austin, it's a different reaction here at the Wrestle Center than anything I've ever heard. But last week, right here on the program, your wife and former women's champion, Nikki Lane, she couldn't get through to you, Austin. We both tried to talk a little bit of sense into you, but Austin, what's gotten into you? Please. Listen, the thing is, is everyone wants to know what is wrong. Why is there anything wrong? Have I not been winning the matches? Well, yes, you've been winning the matches, but it's a different side of Austin Lane. Once you've completed the match, you refuse to relinquish the hold, man. Oh, looks like we've got some company. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Nikki Lane and Jerry Lynn. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Lynn is in the house. Austin? Listen, I don't know why you're still here. I know you did the meet and greet, but there's no reason for you to be here. Well, I don't know about that, Jerry. You're right, you're right. You know what, initially it was just a meet and greet, but I got a call from Nikki. She was kind of concerned about you. I watched last week's show. I'm concerned about you. You mentioned, you mentioned, I'm glad you mentioned it, that this business can turn you into a monster. Well, you and I go back 20 years. And you saw it almost happen to me. I drove five and a half hours into Arkansas to fight you for the wrong reason. And after you beat me, what did I do? I swallowed my pride and I said, I'm sorry. That's all it took. That's all, you know what you gotta do. Austin, Jerry Lynn, along with your wife, Nikki Lane. Of course, you and Jerry go way back. Matches, training, a whole lot of stuff. Wait, let me, get, let me give you a little reminder. You remember when we took both our families down to Fort Walton Beach for vacation together? Come here, look at this, look at it. Yeah, now fans, we're gonna try to put this on the screen for you. These are personal photos. There we are, AJ's restaurant on Okaloosa Island. Look at that, us on the beach. Look at that, in the recording studio doing a radio interview. Here you go, us tag teaming together. You know what's one common denominator in every picture? You got a smile on your face. I don't see a smile anymore. So don't let this business do to you what it almost did to me. You know what you gotta do? You gotta go to the guys you did wrong and all you gotta do is say two words. What do you say? Just Austin? I'm sorry, that's it. A lot of history here, Austin. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. The best of the best, Austin Lane, and one of his good friends and trainers, Jerry Lynn. What a moment, along with Austin's wife, Nikki Lane. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Lynn and Austin Lane. Wait a second! Nikki Lane just cheap shotted Jerry Lynn! Why? This is terrible! Austin says there's a smile on his face now and it doesn't look like he's finished. Austin, no! Austin, no! Austin Lane and Nikki Lane enter in the ring. Jerry is in no condition to compete here today, obviously. Austin Lane has lost his mind. What the hell is going on? He says, I'm smiling now, and there he Come goes. Come on! 
chokehold. We need to get some help for Jerry Lynn out here. This man does not deserve this. This is supposed to be his friend. Guillotine choke, just like he's put out all the rest, and here comes the referees. Bring that bell, Terrence. This is zebra we need pack. more help. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to stop. Jerry Lynn is motionless in the center of the ring here at Memphis Wrestling. We gotta get Austin off of Jerry. And Nikki Lane should be ashamed of herself as well. She helped set this whole thing up, it looks like. I am beyond words at this point. I am livid, livid at how disgusting this tactic was from the former Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion. My heart is racing. I'm so upset at what's just happened. Just when you think there's a moment here between trainer and trainee, long, long history. A sneak attack. Fans, don't you dare go away. We're gonna try to get some help for Jerry Lynn. We'll be right back. Got it. Oh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> this is a huge match. Big fight feel, if I do say so myself. What do you think, Pete? Capacity crowd. Both men have their boosters in the crowd. We've heard gun show chants. We've heard show enough chants. For and K2. we've heard them at the same time. Exactly. Big oh. kick. A kick, a chop, and a reverse thrust kick. And here comes Kate Tuber off the road. Big neck breaker from the big main. I can't tell you the last time I've seen Brett Michaels get hit that hard. The circus is right where we belong in the he's main strong. event. What's he doing here? So please he's strong. He's step right up. For the Kitoomer. real show is that about to be dead. Send him, seen him bid crowbars with ease. And he hits K Tumor right in the back. What are you doing here, Barnabas? Sends K Tumor down. And nobody's seen it but us. He's not done. He's out of it, though. Back show with the Lariat. Show Lariat. One, two, he got him. And still, 
And here is your winner, and still Memphis Wrestling Heritage Champion, The Gun Show. I can't believe what I've just seen. Gun Show retains the Memphis Heritage Championship with help, unknowingly, from Barnabas the Leader, Maurice the Strong of the Circus. I can't believe it. Mysteries that need to be unraveled, Dustin. This was should have been a fantastic match, but the interference. Memphis Heritage Championship on the line. Gene Tuner walking with a purpose. The look on his face says it all. And two weeks ago, he said we're crowning a brand new Memphis Wrestling Heritage Champion. Hold on just a second. K. Tuner taking the mic. Allow me to have a room for a second. Opportunities don't come too far too often. And I need to be 100% in control of this opportunity. So this match, I only want you to count pinfall, submission, maybe a count out. No disqualification. No disqualification. No reason for this to end without either me or him with our hands raised. Hey, Tuner. Terrence, I love you, brother, but this might be where you want to exit the ring. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Tumor says it's no disqualification. I'm all here for that. But he also said Terrence might need to get out of the way. And Terrence, you don't have to tell him twice. Listen, I may be fat, but I can move when I need to be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gun Show. Well, as you just mentioned, Normally, we would start these things, our championship title matches, with the entrance coming out, joining together in the ring, and a formal introduction. Not today, though. Not today. Just stay out of Dodge, stick around here at the desk where maybe, maybe you're safe, but that is what it's all about right there. The Memphis Heritage Championship. Gun Show doesn't need any gloating or anything like that. He's headed straight to the ring. He knows he's in for a fight today. It's Championship Saturday, and it's our main event. And we've got one last commercial break. We will ring the bell when we return, and not a second earlier. Fans, Heritage Championship on the line. Stay with us. Wrestling, join us live. Sunday, May 28th, is our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. Watch AEW Double or Nothing with us. It's free. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Sunday, June 4th, is our next live TV taping at the Wrestle Center. Experience the stars of Memphis Wrestling live. June 25th is on sale soon. Saturday, July 1st, watch WWE Money in the Bank with us. It's free at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at ChampionshipWrestlingMemphis.com. Imagine a place where a cool summer breeze blows and burgers have that smoky, char-grilled flavor. And also the breeze is your car's air conditioner because you're eating at Sonic. New Sonic Griller. Mmm, Sonic. Jet's Pizza in Bartlett is the official pizza of Memphis Wrestling. Order today at 901-383-5387. It's gotta be Jet's.
The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Thank you, West Carroll High. And thank you to our partners who helped raise funds for the West Carroll War Eagles football team. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. The showdown is about to begin. We've heard show enoughs. We've heard boom. And now we're about to hear the bell. And we are underway. This is a no disqualification match, which means pretty much anything goes. Pinfall, submission, victories only. I'm scared, Dustin. Kay Toomer says he's got goosebumps as he walks around the ring. The gun show. Unrobes, here we go. Face to face in the center. Man. Big shot. Return fire. Both men exchanging those powerful right hands, and here we go, the master fat jitsu. Big kick down low. Missed the clothesline. Oh, my buster! God in heaven. Holy cow, Kay Toomer whoa, whoa. has just gotten up. Gun Show can't believe it. Big shot, ducked. Toomer, big spine buster of his own. And how often do you see the Gun Show get thrown like that? And then get back up. And he's back up. Both of these men have come mentally prepared. That's what this is. It's not that they're playing mind games, but mentally, and you know this, Dustin, they're prepared for today. This is not about good guys. This is not about bad guys. This is about being the guy. And right now, that's the gun show. And K. Toomer, everything in his power to try to change that today. Well, let's talk about that. Let's rewind all the way back to the Here very first time show. we saw K. Toomer in the Wrestle Center. He bought a ticket and he was sitting on the front row because he wanted to make a statement that he was here. He was going to come in the door and work his way up from the bottom to the top. And here we are, main event. Kapow misses in the corner. Big knee from K. Toomer. I'll tell you, the big man is so sneaky quick at 387 pounds. Uh -oh. oh, what a kick right to the chest. It's gotta be like kicking granite. Oh! Big thrust kick! God, right from, right from the gun show. Gun show lariat from Kate Toomer. Wow. One, That's two. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Was that a two count? That was a fast two count. David Knight says that was a two count. I'm, I'm gonna take his word for it. I've never seen, and this is another, this is a match for things that have never been seen before. Who has ever given him a gun show Larry? His own move. When has that ever been done in our history? Gun show still down, trying to make it to his feet. Meanwhile, Kay Toomer just waiting, waiting in the weeds, waiting on gun show. What does he have in store? This may be a mistake though, because K. Toomer! Big spear, that's a gore! Big gore! Allowing your opponent to get any kind of rest, any kind of rest, especially a champion, is not gonna help you out at all. Now, granted, Gunshow. followed up by the gore there, but. Rolls out to the floor very wisely. You cannot get pinned on the floor. Now, even though this is a no disqualification match, it is not a falls count Look anywhere. Look at this. Well, the referee was just stopped from his, his 10 count. Toomer says, no, sir, not like that. Is he going out to get him? Indeed.
Kay Toomer and the gun show on the floor. This is dangerous for the fans at ringside, for our camera operators, our equipment. We have fans literally at the edge of their seats, leaning forward, watching this match so intently, because this is a battle unlike anything that we've had in Memphis wrestling. Today is a day of firsts. Today, it wait a second. Oh, you have got to be kidding. As promised, we have company here at ringside, and it's Barnabas the leader and Maurice the strong who did promise an appearance. They want in this match. They feel like Maurice deserves an opportunity at the championship, not Kay Toomer. If he deserves a chance at this title, then I deserve to be on Bodybuilders Magazine. I mean, come on, let's be realistic here. What has he done to earn an opportunity? He did pin Kay Toomer. But with for, the help exactly. of Barnabas. Kay Toomer says, let's go. Is Maurice going to get in there? It's a no disqualification. Wait whoa, just whoa, whoa, a whoa, second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here comes trouble. And he's got the Cobra Cup. Is big trouble Ben Bishop going to cash in? Oh, if he does. Here comes Maurice. Quickly stopped. Look at the gun show. He's charged. Oh, big gun show and lariat. Fires. And that is it. Here is your winner, and still, Memphis Wrestling Heritage Champion, The Gun Show. Let's take a look back at our instant replay brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. Real quick, Big Gun Show Lariat. Fans, is Big Trouble Big Bishop going to cash in Cobra Cup? Justin, this could happen. Is he doing it right now? Could we see history repeat itself? A Cobra Cup winner cash in and win the title. Derek, we are low on time. We're going to have to go off the air with this rolling. If you want continued coverage of this cash in, perhaps, go to MemphisWrestlingPlus.com and follow the average. The cup. can't even talk. Follow the coverage right now, folks. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Tumor is back on his feet, but the gun show is watching intently. Wait just a second, folks. Trouble Ben Bishop, you said you're not going to sneak up on the gun show when you cash in Cobra Cup. Is it going to be today? It ain't going to be today. You guys ain't getting any free wrestling. I'm going to make you buy another ticket. So champ, you better get ready to get ready because here comes trouble. Yeah.